Hey everybody, Genesis Jones here with Total G Shockers. And in this video, we'll be talking about how to take an accurate compass reading on your G-Shock GPR B1000 rangeman. Let's get started. So before I begin, if you haven't already, go ahead and check out the previous video in this Digital Compass video series. We walk through the five steps to how to set up the magnetic declination calibration, which is very important to having accurate compass readings. So go ahead and check that video out now. All right, so now let's walk through how to take accurate compass readings on the G-Shock GPR B1000 Rangeman. Now that you have bi-directional calibration and magnetic declination calibration set up correctly. So now that your compass readings have been calibrated, you're now able to take accurate compass readings. To do this, first keep the watch level while you point 12 o'clock in the direction of your desired objective. Now the triangle that appears on your arrangement will indicate magnetic north. Also, the bearing and bearing angle to your objective will also appear on the display. In the case of this illustration, the bearing to the objective is southwest and the bearing angle to the objective is 214 degrees. To get this reading, you would start at magnetic north and moving clockwise, count how many degrees is between magnetic north and your objective. Thankfully, we don't have to do all this manually and we can let the range men do this for us. Now, after the initial reading is displayed, the watch will continue to take readings about every second for about the next 60 seconds. Now, if this were the Mudmaster, you know, the GG1000 series of G-Shock watches, the readings would be taken every second for about the next 20 seconds instead of 60 seconds with the range men. Now for the rangeman, the watch will return to the timekeeping mode automatically about 60 seconds after you start a direction reading operation. Now if the alarm or other beeper sounds on your watch, or if you turn on the illumination by pressing the top right button, and this is done while the compass operation is in progress, then the compass operation will be paused momentarily. Then the compass operation will continue once the beeper stops, once the alarm goes off, or when the illumination turns off. So now let's get into the digital compass reading precautions. Now once you're all set up and taking compass reading, then great. But also be aware of places where you shouldn't take compass readings. Now if you take readings near sources of strong magnetism, it could actually cause an error in the compass reading. So watch out for the following items. Permanent magnets or magnetic accessories, metal objects, high voltage wires, aerial wires, and electrical household appliances like TVs, computers, cell phones, etc. You just want to make sure that you are adhering to these precautions to avoid inaccurate readings. Also, be aware that correct direction readings are not possible when you're indoors, especially inside of a reinforced concrete structure. In addition, accurate direction readings are not possible in motor vehicles, on boats, on aircrafts, etc. Now, when it comes to watch storage, make sure your G-Shock is not exposed to medium to strong magnetism, or this may affect the accuracy of digital compass readings. So do your best to keep your arrangement away from the items listed earlier in this video, right? The permanent magnets, metal objects, the high voltage wires, the electrical household appliances, things like that. And last, we're going to talk about setting a map. Now to go a step further from taking a compass reading, you can also align a map with your actual surroundings so that the directions indicated on it are set with the actual directions of your location. Once you set a map, you can get a grasp of the relationship between map markings and actual geographical contours. So to set a map with arrangement, align north on the map with the north indication on the watch. And this is the magnetic north on the watch. 
Now, as you can see, you have to have some map reading skills and experience to determine your current location and destination on a map. Now, if you expect your rangeman to figure that out for you too, come on now. So if you don't know how to read a map, this may be difficult for you to do. But if you can read a map, and if you can figure out where north is and point in that direction, then you'll be fine. Now, once you set the map, you can compare your bearing on the map with your surroundings. And this will help you determine your current location and destination. All right, everybody, that's all for today. In the next video, we'll be walking through the three steps to how to save a bearing to your bearing memory and also how to clear it from your arrangement. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe and make sure you hit that bell to get the notifications when new videos are released. I hope that this video series is helping you out tremendously. That's all for today. And as always, continue to rock your G-Shock nonstop. Deuces.